Hello everybody, Graysteel Plays, and today I want to talk a little bit about one of Sean Murray's most recent tweets, which could be an indicator as to one of the reasons for the delays in the game's release. As one would imagine, the snippets of information we're getting are essentially mathematical genius lingo, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I can decipher any of it myself. For that, we must look to the hopefully competent mathematical prodigies of the internet in order to determine exactly what Sean's posts mean. The post I'm talking about here was a tweet that said this, I think NMS planet terrains might finally be Lipschitz continuous, collapses. If you're all sitting there nodding your heads, thinking, ah yes, finally the Lipschitz continuity is strong in no man's sky, then, I don't know, I guess I'm just thankful for having the community with the highest math GPAs on the planet. If you're not exactly certain what being Lipschitz continuous means, let's head to the best informational repository on the internet and find out. Pulling a Lipschitz is the act of taking a bath in a stranger's house without them knowing about it. Okay, okay, wrong repository. In mathematical analysis, Lipschitz continuity, named after Rudolf Lipschitz, is a strong form of uniform continuity for functions. What the internet has decided this means is that the terrain that makes up the planets in No Man's Sky will be slightly more realistic. Of course, we're dealing with alien planets, including floating rocks and other strange oddities, so realism will only go so far. It's more appropriate to say that weird and unsightly craziness in the terrain would be eliminated, or at least less common. An example of that would be having a cliff that leads into a canyon, and then for some reason at the bottom of the canyon, a huge spike is just sticking out of it for no reason. The same thing would go for mountains that are unrealistically steep. Of course, we don't know what the values are that Sean is inputting, so another discussion has arisen that mentions that freakish spike planets are still a possibility, the continuity just limits how spiky the planet can be at its maximum. Confused yet? Now that kind of brings up another interesting question though. Would physical terrain impossibilities be unsightly and immersion breaking? Or would they be appropriate since we're going to planets with the very intent of seeing new and exciting things? Part of me wants to see something familiar so I understand exactly how to process what it is I'm seeing, but another part of me wants to see a planetary terrain that is a physical impossibility, just so I can justify it as wacky alien space planet. You know, as long as there's no weird clipping issues. Either way, it's some talented mathematical talk, and while I can't help but be interested, I'm certainly not proficient enough to follow along. That doesn't mean that I don't wish to understand it, but Sean being Sean, his tweets are typically very short with little follow-up for clarification. Math aside, in the, uh, I don't know, I think it was the third to last video now, I asked you which ship was your favorite in No Man's Sky, and here were some of your responses. Indy Sage liked the ship shown at 3 minutes and 25 seconds, that would be this sleek orange and red beauty here. The Lanky Midget was interested in this odd four-pointed ship, which was illustrated here. ENC favors the beefy yellow monster coming in for a landing here. Actually, that's one of my favorites too. Dank Digger Dog likes the svelte look of this yellow jacket looking ship here and Red Prince likes the sleek appearance of this triple jet engine wielding ship featured in an IGN gameplay here. Thanks everyone for those picks. Those are some really cool ship designs and that brings me to this video's question. Can any one of you out there come up with a layman's explanation of what you feel the Lipschitz continuity will do for No Man's Sky? Also, when it comes to terrain, do you prefer a more typical Earth-like style? Or do you not mind if No Man's Sky were to go completely wild with its terrain, having crazy mountains and strange slopes or wacky spikes? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below, and as always, stay foxy and much love.